Hi, my name is Anthony Satani, sales representative for Metropolitan Car Liner. We'll start first with our slide hammer or dent puller attachment. On our display, we can now adjust our amperage or kiloamps or time in milliseconds. So for this, we may bump up a little bit higher and we'll do a test weld to see. So we're gonna press firmly against the panel. There we got a good grasp. That allows me to pull and then I would twist to release when we're done. We have a, a three-sided adapter here so we can change as this wears out. This can be ground down and sharpened. So, and then again, we can remove, remove the Allen bolt and turn so that we have a fresh electrode. So for this operation, we're gonna take the electrode out of the box that matches the size of the stud that we're gonna use. So as you can see, the accessories kit comes with several different welding electrodes, single-sided electrode, dent puller, and carbon shrinking rod as well as a wide variety of consumable thuds, rivets, washers, dent pulling tabs, and body side molding clips. So next we're gonna go over doing a weld on bolt. So in either a coarse thread or a fine thread, depending on the application. Your adapter has two different size holes. So pick the one that matches the stud you're working with, and we can set that in and tighten it. So again, we're gonna press firmly and give it a nice weld. Coarse thread, fine thread. Clips for body side moldings. Some people refer to them as a rivet. But you'll notice there's a magnet in the center of the adapter so that it holds the rivet in place while you're going to weld to the panel so that I can put the gun down without having to hold the rivet in place. So for this, we've dropped our setting down since we're welding a much smaller rivet. And that welds the rivet to the side of the vehicle. So for this application, we're going to work with what's called a contact shrinker. So we have here where we've made a high spot trying to pull a dent out, uh, rather than trying to pound that down with a hammer or um, you know heating it and shrinking it, something to that effect. I can take this blunt-ended copper adapter here. Uh, I'm gonna change my heat settings a little bit. Maybe bump up a little in the time. We're gonna put a, a good amount of pressure against this, and we're gonna use this to heat shrink that dent out. So we're able to actually drop that down to where it's gone from a high spot down to a low spot. You can see there's a very small heat effect zone around the area. Uh, typically, if you're doing this in a stage where you've already had a body filler or some form of polyester on there, uh, you can do that without damaging any of the filler around the area. So for this, we've set the time all the way up. We've set the power to about 2.5 kiloamps or 2,500 amps. You would use this in a situation where you've created an oil can or a stretched piece of metal. So this allows me to come in and warm the area so that I can come back with a wet rag and quench that cool to help to shrink that stretched out area. So now we're gonna look at the single-sided welding on the multifunction gun. Single-sided welding can be used for non-structural or cosmetic applications on vehicles. So to begin, we have our ground attached to what we'll call panel A, and then we're gonna use our positive or our welding electrode on panel B, the panel that we wanna weld to panel A. So here we have our current turned up pretty high. Uh, our time is set down just under two tenths of a second. So what we're looking for is a hot, fast weld. So I'm gonna start with a good amount of pressure and we're gonna go ahead and make a weld. You can try another one a little closer. We'll try to do now what's known as a standard industry destructive test or peel test. So we'll see for metal tear out to see if it's a sufficient weld. So if we turn the workpiece towards the camera, you can see that we've ripped sufficient tear out, not quite as much as you would get from a two-sided weld, but again, plenty sufficient for a non-structural or a cosmetic repair. For more information on this and other Carliner products, contact your local distributor or visit www.carliner.com.